Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome to another top 10 best city of tweaks for iOS 8. Uh, and this is actually a really cool top 10 list as it is a collaboration with Tanner from the YouTube channel I Crack Your Eye Device. So I think that me and him have come up with 10 really, really awesome tweaks that I think you guys would love to have on your device. So let's go ahead and let's jump into this. So the first tweak I got for you guys did just come out for iOS 8 in specific, and this tweak is called Hide Me 8. This is going to allow you to hide a lot of different elements with iOS. Uh, as you guys can see, I do have all of the icon labels hidden. I love that super simple look. I think it just looks really nice to not have those there. Also, the battery icon and my status bar is hidden. My signal strength is hidden because I don't really care too much to see that. Also on my lock screen, I do have the date hidden. And I just like it because it allows you to kind of make your device look a lot more minimalistic and get rid of a lot of things that aren't really too necessary in my opinion. Uh, so here's the settings for Hide Me 8. Now there's a lot of different stuff you can actually hide with it. I'm not going to go through all of it. Uh, but you do have the ability to, to hide a lot of elements within Control Center, your lock screen, Notification Center, Springboard, Status Bar, also certain things within Stock Apps, in your camera, Messages, Music, Notes, and Weather. And then also you do have a third party apps down at the bottom that's going to allow you to hide things in specific uh, there as well, which is really really quite awesome. Again, that tweak is called Hide Me 8. Next up, we got an incredibly simple tweak. It's called SB Power Alert. Now, the way you configure this tweak is you download and install it, and then you use Activator to set up an activation method to obviously activate it. So if I triple press my home button, as you guys can see, here is SB Power Alert. Uh, and it's going to give you the ability to see a lot of different information about your device that I currently have disabled just because I don't want you guys to see like uh, my Wi-Fi IP address and a bunch of other things uh, you can change that all within the settings but uh, what I do like about it is you can actually have the ability to just quickly reboot your device power it off respring and go into safe mode uh, just with a real quick little menu like that and I really do like it again that's called SB power alert next up we have another brand new tweak within Cydia and this is specifically for iOS 8 and I'm sure she's gonna be listening for me when I say this but this tweak is called untethered hey Siri so as you guys can see, uh, as soon as you say, hey Siri, she will basically start listening to you and uh, that's allowing you with that tweak to not have your device plugged in and charging to use that feature, which I always thought that was kind of weird that you have to have your device charging to you know, use the hey Siri feature. Um, but like I said, uh, it's really cool being able to just, you know, ask your phone things across the room uh, without it being plugged in or whatever. It's pretty neat. Hey Siri, what's, what's 20 times 50? So yeah, definitely a really awesome feature. I'm sure you guys can use your imagination of all the things you could have Siri do uh, while your device is, you know, on the table next to you. You can basically just sit there and ask her to do things, you know, set alarms. It's definitely a really awesome tweak. Again, it's called Untethered Hey Siri. The next tweak I got for you guys was actually featured in one of my previous top 10 tweaks video, but I wanted to cover it again just because so many people ask me about this tweak, and it is called Flurry. Now what Flurry does is it changes the blur values of a lot of different UI elements system wide on your device with one tweak. Now this allows you to adjust a lot of different stuff. So if we go ahead and pull down on Notification Center, as you guys can see the blur value of Notification Center is a lot different than normal. Same as Control Center, as you guys can see that blur value is quite a bit different than stock. Also if we go into, a really good example is the Photos application if we go into here. So as you guys can see, the, the top and the bottom bar there look much, much different than stock. And I actually love the way this looks. I think this is just a really, really cool tweak uh, that allows you to adjust those. Same as in the Settings app. If you guys can see that top bar there, you can actually see the little icons go through that top bar. It's a little bit more transparent, and it looks really nice. Now, uh, the Flurry uh, settings here, if we back out, if I go actually into Flurry, um, there's a lot of different settings within the settings panel for Flurry. Now, it actually took me a lot of playing around with to get it just right the way I like it, the way that it looks on my device right now. Um, if you guys want to copy the settings in which I have input uh, into the Flurry settings, I will leave a link in the description that will show you guys uh, all of the settings that I have here if you guys want to go check that out to make it look uh, you know, exactly the same as mine. But again, that tweak is seriously awesome and it's called Flurry. So if you guys have a device that does feature the Touch ID sensor, like the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, 5S, iPad Mini 3, or even the iPad Air 2, this is a tweak definitely worthy of taking a look at. It is called BioProtect. 
So as you guys can see, in order for me to unlock or open the Cydia application, I do have to use my Touch ID sensor to unlock it. Uh, and again, this tweak is called BioProtect. If we go into the Settings application, uh, we can go ahead and go into the Settings. And as you can see, that is protected as well via Touch ID. Now this tweak is extremely in-depth and allows you to make your device incredibly secure with locking down you know, applications, folders, your photos, even system toggles like Bluetooth, Respring, Airplane Mode, Wi-Fi, any of those toggles you can actually have uh, protected with BioProtect and Touch ID, which is really, really cool. It even allows you to lock down specific sections within the settings application. So specific areas within settings you can actually have locked down instead of the application as a whole. Uh, definitely a really, really, really cool tweak in my opinion. Uh, if we go ahead and launch Cydia here real quick. Now, unfortunately, since this is an iOS 7 tweak and it is compatible with iOS 8, it is paid as well. And since Zurich is not allowing Cydia purchases at this time, uh, you will have to wait for him to remove that to purchase this tweak, uh, which should hopefully be any day now. So uh, definitely check that tweak out. Again, it's called BioProtect. So there you go, guys. Those are five really cool tweaks within Cydia I would recommend checking out. Now, I do have one more quick honorable mention, and that is Blueboard. All it is is a blue keyboard, but it goes really good with the tweak Flurry. So if you're going to try out Flurry, I'd recommend checking out this keyboard. Now, also be sure to go over and check out Tanner's five tweaks as he's going to show you uh, some pretty awesome stuff you can do with your device as well such as what I just did there, and also an awesome new uh, switch tweak that's found within Cydia. He has that covered on his video, so be sure to check it out. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed these tweaks, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out tremendously. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to me and to Tanner's channel for more awesome jailbreak content. But anyways, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.